first in the tower. I don't know. All right, so the uh, footage there was just of the old system I initially tried last summer, and uh, with with no success. Um, <clears throat> so just going over installation a little bit here of the new system. And I'll, as I mentioned, this is kind of a temporary setup until uh, later this spring, or when spring actually rolls around, I'll, I'm probably going to dig in here and um, uh, put in footings for an actual permanent uh, taller antenna, like a 40 to 50 foot uh, antenna tower that I'll be able to use for uh, multiple use. So there's the ground rod that goes obviously into the ground, uh, and then there's some uh, grounding cable going up to the la lightning arrestor. And as mentioned, this is kind of a temporary setup just to get to see if it's, the system worked. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, and then obviously start utilizing it until I have time um, and the resources to uh, put in a larger antenna tower. So this tower, this temporary antenna tower is a tripod base used for uh, satellite antennas a lot of times, satellite dishes, for, you know, like DirecTV, you know, so on and so forth, bring them out. Uh, that one was one I kept from uh, old installation. And then there's the antenna bracket off of uh, Amazon I got to hold this pipe. All this pipe is is uh, the top railing for uh, chain link fencing. Uh, I had some of it and then I bought another section. It goes up to the flat panel antenna installed up there. Uh, quick, I'll throw in some pics of the, the uh, installing the bracket and the silicone I used. And then uh, we'll talk about, I have to actually make some adjustments to this antenna again. Uh, and then some of the resources I ended up using uh, to find my antenna, or excuse me, the clear, the nearest um, cell tower is actually that direction. Uh, the first time I installed, had this set up, I actually pointed in that direction because I'm using that open source or whatever... I'll roll in the link there or whatever the name of it, but the, the app for finding your uh, signals in your area. It's got a little compass thing on there. I don't know if it's because I hit and in this valley here and the signals are bouncing around or whatever, but the, it, it's hard to get it to get consistent as far as what direction we're getting the signal from. Um, so then I found a website and I'll put the link in below or roll it here into the footage uh, that I found through uh, WeBoost's uh, website for finding cell towers and I found out using Google Earth and I'll probably maybe throw in a screenshot of that uh, what direction the cell tower is uh, you know a compass direction from where I'm at right now so that I could get oh uh, best line of sight or try to get line of sight with that antenna as you see here there's obviously trees and behind those trees is a, a hill mast that's of course higher than where i'm standing right now on the roof so therefore i need to get my antenna up higher uh and obviously pointed in the right direction i know there is some uh antennas off that direction but i don't think they're they're not the towers are not owned by AT&T uh, which is my carrier the only tower owned by AT&T that's in a decent direction that I can get service from is down there or is in that direction so about 2.8 miles the top of the tower that's the cool thing about the site shows the top of the tower at like 530 feet if I remember correctly so uh, that gives me a pretty good if I can get my antenna here up to, you know, 50 feet above the ground or so, I might be able to uh, pick up a pretty good signal. Like I said, up up here on the roof, I'm still getting about three bars or so. So if I can get it to four, that's four. Right, so we'll uh, pause it. Uh,